Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will try to uh, well um, remove old fungus uh, in my El Nikwa uh, aperture 4 and it's a 50 millimeter and um, I would like to use it on my camera <clears throat> so but I need to um remove some fungus on inside the the front lens and uh, maybe I will also <coughs> well I will also clean the other other uh, lens element um so let's have a look inside uh we need some tools uh at least a lens spinner this is an old compass which I have filed and grind so it fits absolutely perfect in here as you can see the two small notch on each side and um, we'll need some cotton buds those are with uh, a normal end and this is a more what do you say pointy end which is good to get into it and for cleaning uh, we use I use a peg pad uh, and it's the um, 10 centimeter times times 10 centimeter uh, which I also to get it more economical uh, cut them in four pieces instead of using a whole sheet I will use some uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, 3% and um, to do the final cleaning I will use uh, some simple <coughs> lighter fluid which I like uh, it could be other option like um, isopropyl alcohol 99% but well I prefer this uh, those two so this is what yeah and to disassemble it uh, we need some rubber tools uh, this uh, those famous uh, rubber cones from Japan Hobby Tool uh, which are really good for disassemble lenses and uh, because the, the rubber is extremely sticky so it works a, uh, a tiny um, lens sucker this is a, just an old set um, I don't think you can buy them anymore but uh, take a look and search around for um, lens sucker I know you, they have them somewhere uh, a blower and this is a um, the Heba Jet 2 from KOE I think it is uh, KOH uh, which is it has a filter in the intake <coughs> so when you blow there will only come fresh air out without any dust the filter takes it's really a good tool and um, yeah let's jump into it and uh, see what we actually can do about it oh sorry uh, we just need to actually take a look through the lens with a torch just to see how well uh, yeah <laughs> there are some things in here uh, which could be a lot better so let's have a look <coughs> to what we can do I will just begin with the front lens group uh, which is uh, <coughs> one need to take off the front name retaining ring uh, and simply just take it out and for that we will use the uh, the rubber tool called number five here as you can see and it fits absolutely perfect here and do you must have a good pressure on it and turn it counterclockwise so and then so it's possible to turn and then just unscrew it and then it's free 
Now, um, I will take off the uh, front retaining ring with the um, my lens tool <laughs> compass, <laughs> and uh, it it works really good. I mean, you can also use the um, one of the lens uh, rubber tool here, but sometimes they are not sticky enough. So if we try. No, it will not. So it's better to just have a good pointy tool and um, have a good grip on it. And then, so there it comes free. <clears throat> then it should be possible to unscrew it like this here and as you can see <coughs> it goes really good so there and take out the retaining ring here so and now we have the front lens, the very front lens, uh, free, and I can use my um, lens sucker to just hopefully pull it out. And so here we are. And um, yeah, so it is. And let's have a look. Uh, what the hell for my torch? Oh, doesn't matter. <clears throat> hmm. So we can actually see how good it will be. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's see through it. Um, <clears throat> you probably can see there is a lot of well, let's say, um, especially in over here in this side, there is a lot of uh, old fungus, which we can see here. So we just need to take some, I mean, use some uh, hydrogen peroxide. And let's see if it's on the back, which is probably is. Maybe, maybe not. Difficult to see. But it looks like it's on the front, on the very front, as you can see. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I just need a stand to put the, the tiny lens on. And this one fits okay. Something like this. And um, then a pack pad. And See what we can do. Two sheets. <coughs> so I will just use a little um, hydrogen peroxide on the uh, peg pad. Just a tiny amount. Just shake the bottle. Doesn't have to be much. So just have to be wet. And then <clears throat> just uh, need a very light pressure and uh, just go around in circles with a very light pressure and see if we can and out. Well, <laughs> it seems some, like something happened. Mm. I mean, at least something happened. Maybe there's something yet on it. It looks like there's still something on the surface. So we can just give it another go. And <clears throat> I mean, the, the wet surface here is quite big. So I can just use another area 
and um, have a light pressure on it and hopefully it it will go disappear uh, remember when using hydrogen peroxide the blacks uh, painting on the side of the lens don't uh, actually um, put too much uh, hydrogen peroxide on the on this um, on the ink well hmm uh, there is still something so we could try and um, just put it directly on here on the um, on the lens and let the and let the lens sit just in in tiny amount of uh, hydrogen peroxide and see how good it will go um, so let it rest here and it could be if we use a maybe this one here just that little lens sit it sitting in here and that the um, let the hydrogen peroxide <coughs> do the the job so let's have a look in the other lens <coughs> which will be the the inner um, I mean the back of the front lens group and uh, also I need a um, I need to unscrew this retaining ring which holds the lens and it's the number two cone and simply just unscrew it it will go quite easy so here we are and then you can just see there is just a hole in here nothing special and um, this uh, lens actually sit in the mount so it's not really possible to take it out <clears throat> I mean in if um, what I see but the lens is uh, there is some kind of haze in here so it will be good to just use some <clears throat> yeah, some um, lighter fluid to clean it which I think will be fine in this case <clears throat> and I will just use another tiny peg pad and simply add the uh, lighter fluid to the to the um, peg pad and then use a, a curtain but and gently I mean very gently move it around and see what can be done And <clears throat> it's actually look, looking really good. There's something on the back here. And we can just uh, yeah, it's on the other side. So we can just give it another go. <clears throat> and just use the other corner and again use the uh, curtain pot to just move it around and then pull it out <clears throat> wow well It looks like there is kind of a bubble or maybe there's just something dirt on it. Yeah, it needs another go, which we will do. And
Sometimes it's not only to do it once, we have to clean it twice or may, maybe more. So, yeah, it helps. And we do it again on the outside. So, and it's uh, the pointy end here is really good for that. So, there and out. Yeah, <laughs> it really helps a lot. <clears throat> so it's done and uh, I can just put it in again maybe do some well it doesn't really look there is a lot of fungus in it in this so I can just put it on again and then tighten it so, wow, it looks really good. <clears throat> now, let's have a look on the front, the very front lens, and see if it's, uh, if it has helped just a little. Um, and I will just use uh, lighter fluid to actually clean the clean the um, surface here to get rid of the hydrogen peroxide and gently oh well now you can see it's still there. So the uh, front lens surface is not not really good. I mean, I think it doesn't affect does not affect the uh, the picture. It's more the the back lens group, but you can see there is actually a lot on this here. So hmm lot of tracks on this so it doesn't really work hmm. but still <clears throat> I think it it, uh, it can still be useful to uh, take some photos with it or at least try oh this is just a small tutorial of how one can <clears throat> If there is any dirt on a lens and then you can see I miss a uh, something in between the two lens elements so I need to take it out again so and there was something here Put it in again. Now it's gone. Well, the fungus is still there, but <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, what can be done in this case, in my opinion. So we just need to find the thread. <clears throat> And simply just screw the front retaining ring in. It's a different kind, I mean, it's a different uh, story when it goes to the back lens group. Tighten it, and so it is. Well, it doesn't look fine, but uh, if we well, it depends on what 
kind of light come through it. Now, if we look at the back of the of the lens here, you will see no screws. So how to actually get it into it? I mean, there's no screws around here, but it's not that hard. <clears throat> we simply need to unscrew this back plate here. And for that, we'll use the rubber tool directly on here. And it will be four and five put together, so you have a better um, contact to the retaining ring here. And then unscrew it counterclockwise. See. And then have a good pressure. <coughs> so. And then it's free, and then you can just unscrew it in an easy way. So, this is just a plate, a cover for the back here. And uh, now we have a, another retaining ring. <coughs> just blow away some of the dirt in here. <coughs> and now, there is, uh, let's see how it looks through it. Well, hmm, there's some haze in here. And since this is actually two cemented lens put together, we can probably, maybe, maybe not, I don't know yet, but let's have a look. So I need to unscrew the, the uh, retaining ring here. And I will just try with this. Maybe it's too big. I will try with the number two cone. Put it on and then turn it now, counterclockwise. So, and then have a good pressure on it. And now it's free. So, there, this is it, and then this is a cemented lens, so we need to, well it was a little hard to uh, pull out at first when I took a sneak peek into the lens, but uh, and it, it will not really come out. So what I did is just to uh, do like this and you can see it will come out uh, in an easy I mean hopefully easy way one have to wiggle a little and there might be some people who said hmm it will damage the lens or the lens will go fall apart well in this case it doesn't happen but one have to wiggle a little with the lens to hopefully pull it out. It sits, it has a really tight fit. And here it comes out. So there. And here we are. And remember how the lens is facing because on the inside it will say in here it's flat it's completely flat on the back here it's curved so we if we looked at it it's more curved on this side so and um, yeah, let's see what we can do about it. It, it uh, doesn't look that fine, but you can see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there is three. There is uh, on this side here. Over here. There are some kind of lens, maybe lens separation. So it might be that it's not possible to save this lens but well I can try to clean it on both sides 
and uh, see if it's possible to use anyway. So first the the um, outside, I mean the very back, and then the other side. And I will just clean with uh, with lighter fluid and see how it could it goes. See how it can be possible to clean the some of the dirt away. So out there. And yeah, it helps. Wow. <laughs> but I'm not sure it's possible to to take away the uh, the dirt between the lens element. I mean, at least I should uh, take the two lens element apart. But uh, yeah, I will wait in another video. Try to to maybe separate a lens. I mean, a cemented lens. So there. Oh, there's still something on here. And let's have a look. Well, at least it actually was much better, but you can see the uh, lens separation. It will say, uh, it's possible to show there. there. Yeah, there's not really much I can do about it. So I'll just put it back in again <clears throat> and since I know where the lens has to sit because of the the flat surface and the round I mean the round back of the lens I know where it should sit so just put it in I mean one can also set a, um, a pencil arrow <clears throat> Which I already do have done something like uh, I know it's possible to see, but you can see here there's an arrow here facing this way. So let's just put it back in again and say, okay, that's it. Hmm. Okay, there was something on here. So we will just do another go and say that's that's fine for now. Put the retaining ring on and screw it all together. And um, don't put too much pressure on it. So there. Let's see. Well, it, it it's it's better than it was. So I can just put the front lens group in here and say that's all fine. Uh, we can take a look here at the aperture. There's some oil on the aperture, but uh, it doesn't. It's not really a problem and uh, yeah let's put it together say that's fine so if there wasn't any fungus on the front lens uh, I would guess it, it should be a, a good lens to to put on on a Fuji or something like that with an adapter or which I actually will do. So on with the back cover plate. So there. And use the rubber tool to tighten it. So there. And the um, the rubber tool here on the front. Or oh, I could just use my lens tool compass to tighten it with 
just a little so not more than that and say okay well if it was for the fungus hmm, um, it would be a, a fine lens so but um, well it's better than it was so that's all for me uh, from me in this uh, case hope you can use the info at least to disassemble the uh, lens group so bye bye